You can work with precision in Adobe Illustrator by using rulers, guides, and grids. To view rulers on the canvas, go to the View menu, move over to Rulers, and click on the Show Rulers option. Once done, a vertical and horizontal scale will appear on the screen. You can set the measurement in which you want the rulers to be in. Simply right-click on the scale and choose the measurement from the menu. As you can see, there are two artboards present here. A good feature of Illustrator CS5 is that whichever artboard you select, the rulers adjust to that particular artboard. For example, when the artboard on the left is selected, notice the horizontal and vertical scale. If you select the second artboard, the scale shifts and now starts from where the second artboard begins. You can change this option and shift to one single scale by right-clicking on the scale and clicking on the Change to Global Rulers option. Now only one ruler will run across both the artboards. For better results, Illustrator also helps you align your images. For example, if you create a rectangle, you can align it with the other shapes with the help of Smart Guides. To make guides on the canvas, simply drag the ruler. If you drag from the vertical axis, then a vertical guide will appear. You can use it to align your images and text. The same can be done from the horizontal axis as well. You will want to lock your guides so that they don't move while you're working. To do this, right-click on the guide and select the Lock Guides option from the menu. You can even turn shapes into guides. For this, make any new shape or choose an existing one. Once done, right-click on it and select the Make Guides option. This will turn your illustration into a guide. Apart from this, you can even work on a grid to know the exact measurement of your drawings. To enable a grid, go to the View panel on the top and select the Show Grid option.